Do you have any questions about your current love life situation? Uh, I don't know, not specifically. No problem. I just wanted to But let's talk about it. Because that came to you for a reason. So what do you want to talk about? Yeah. <laughs> I want to handle this, like, totally sensibly and, and uh, with what you're comfortable with. So um, when it comes to your previous situation, mm -hmm. I feel like I, I do want to go there. Mm -hmm. And I just really want to emphasize um, Um, the acknowledgement is basically a feeling of like, uh, it's just important that he doesn't isolate himself. Yeah. As I think he may have a tendency to do. Yeah. And that's something that, um, you know, it, we can only control so much of. You, you, right. you can't control someone else's actions. Right. It is not your responsibility. Right. So I just hope he stays in the state. Okay. You, just, you would need to stay in California. Okay. Mm -hmm. I try to keep him at a distance. Sure. Yeah, for it's just a toxic relationship sure. for me, sure. just even being friends. Sure. But I want to make sure he's okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. It never hurts to have support. Yes. Yeah. Um, thank you. Whoa, okay, this is interesting. Uh, there's a man with an M name that is I don't care for, and it's not like a traditional name, like Michael. Like, um, this is a, there's an, going to be a man with an odd M name, so if it's like Marco or Marcos, this person's going to be romantically interested. Okay. <laughs> and let's just say no. Okay. <laughs> so if Mar sorry, Marcos, or whoever okay. you are, but whoever this is, just remember. Okay. That's a big red X. Notice someone with an M. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> well, I'm not going to date anyone that starts with the letter M. Um, he did not like that. I don't even know who the hell that would be, but um, good. So you keep saying my next boyfriend or whatever. Do you not see anything about my current boyfriend? <laughs> Let me look, because <laughs> we might be fine there. I mean, like, I think in the way this kind of comes across, um, I always tell people I'll see an area and I'll see when a part of our lives are going to kind of reach a peak. Mm -hmm. So whether we're in something currently or in two years, we're going to kind of reach this point. I generally kind of view what is a good opportunity based on what's peaking. Right. And for you, I really am feeling like love life is not the area right now that is reaching its peak. Career is really that area. So. Mm -hmm. So one of the challenges that's coming through is a referral of ultimately being distanced, but in a physical sense. Mm -hmm. What comes through is literally, I'm seeing a clock mm -hmm. in the way that this pops in, and I'm seeing this, and it's symbolic for basically saying that a schedule um, or two people's schedules would not be ideal mm -hmm. <laughs> for kind of a cohesive relationship. If we have two individuals who are both very driven doing their own things, mm -hmm. the feeling is we want to ensure that we have enough time for a relationship right. to be able to have that. And right. that can be a challenge if two people are motivated and are not necessarily always together right. physically mm -hmm. with where they're going. Mm -hmm. So that can definitely be the case. I would say for the current situation, so long as we can make sure distance does not end up being an issue, mm -hmm. we're fine. Where does he live at the moment? Where? Yes. Um, in Cleveland. I see a lot of travel for this individual, like mm -hmm. to an excessive extent that I'm mm -hmm. kind of almost like, oh, I don't know if that would even be reasonable for them <laughs> to, to like do this much. So just remember that I'm saying that because there will be some opportunities. Yes, his job is to travel like every other few days. I'm just like going everywhere <laughs> and it's like, Okay. What does he do for work? He is a basketball player. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as long as we're good with all that travel, I'm honestly not saying anything that I'm immediately concerned about. Okay. So that looks good. Can Kylie come and maybe Absolutely. she could? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Let's I don't do know. it. Kylie, okay. do you want to come here with me? I'm coming. Awesome. I wrote down so many notes. Oh, like, you good. have like seven pages awesome. of notes, so you're going to be so good. Yes, queen. Well, I didn't know you had a little skin cancer on your... I don't know my, if it's my vag. I think it's I, my breast. I, <laughs> because I've had a, I've had a biopsy on my breast, right. and it was skin cancer, but not on oh, my sorry, not on my vag. Definitely not on the not on. Wow. Well, I didn't know that. Tyler's like, what? <laughs>